Hello, this is Francisco Kirbari. I recorded a video a few days ago explaining some of the reasons why I switched from GNOME to KD Plasma after running GNOME for a long time. As I explained in that video, I do a lot of photography, so I, I need to deal with raw images produced by many different cameras such as Nikon, Canon, Fujifilm and so on and I uh, was having some problems with um, GNOME uh, for instance thumbnail previews under Nautilus and so on and um, I just want to show you a few other features of KD Plasma that may be of interest to photographers let me come here to the file manager Dolphin and um, the default image, let me turn on the thumbnails here, thumbnail preview. Uh, the default image viewer in GNOME is EO, EOG, Eye of GNOME. You can use it to view JPEG images, PNG images and so on, but um, you cannot use it to view, uh, to visualize a raw image and a raw image from an icon or Canon or Fujifilm camera for instance and um, that's uh, limiting sometimes it, you just want to click on a raw image and take a quick look at it without opening the file in a raw processor such as uh, Darktable and see uh, here I have two raw images that were produced using a Fujifilm camera I can just click on one of them, single click by the way, and um, it uh, opens the raw image in Gwenville, which is uh, KD Plasma's uh, image viewer. So we'll, I can use Gwenville not only to view JPEG images, but also to take a quick look at the raw image. Another thing that I really like about Gwenview is that I can configure this meta information. I can choose which information I want to be displayed here. And Eye of Gnome has a side panel, but you cannot configure which information you want to be displayed. For instance, I do a lot of street photography, so I should... Um, most of the time in aperture priority and I, I use exposure compensation a lot positive and negative exposure compensation and um, I always when I look at an image I always want to know which exposure compensation I use for that image and um, Eye of Gnome does not show that information and you cannot configure it the, the software, you cannot configure Eye of Gnome to display that information but here it's displayed, you see, exposure bias, zero EV and you can just click here in more and you can choose which EXIF information you want it to be displayed uh, in this information panel, which I think is really nice so Gwenview is an excellent image viewer. Let me show you another image viewer, which is uh, not a KDE, a, a KDE application, but um, that I find quite useful, and you can use it uh, in GNOME or XFCE, or whatever. It is, it's this one here, Geeky. You can click here and uh, go to open with Geeky and um, you can also use Geeky to visualize raw images and it's very flexible, it's an excellent image viewer I use Geeky together with uh, Gwenview another nice thing about uh, KDE is that um, in many desktop environments you can tell the desktop environment which application should be used to open each file type 
but in KDE Plasma you can do more. You come here with application file association, you can list several applications and you can set a priority. You can tell KDE, look, this is my first priority, my second priority, and so on. For instance, let me take a look here at JPEG. JPEG image. This is my list. Gwenview is my first choice, Geeky my second choice, Darktable, GIMP, Ocular, and so on. So if I click here on right click on a JPEG image and I can come here to open with and I have exactly that list here in exactly the priority that I set in the system settings and I think that's um, that's very nice no? and um, this is something that I, I really like oh by the way if you if you want to calibrate your your display color calibrate and um, and handle ICC profiles and so on you can include uh, you can install color D dash KDE and that includes these color corrections yeah, item here under system settings I believe it uses some GNOME code let me click here and here you can select ICC profiles if you want to calibrate your, your display then you need to install the GNOME Color Manager management uh, package but you can just uh, use display cow to calibrate um, your display and then select uh, the ICC profiles here so I think uh, another nice thing by the way here is that um, let me change in Dolphin let me change here the display mode for a list I can right click here I can come to image and I can include information on the resolution of the different images see Th those are the resolutions of those images and that's something that's uh, really nice when in, a, in the same folder you have several images with different uh, resolutions and then you want that information here next to the file size and next to the file names and so most things in KD Plasma work out of the box KD Plasma is very flexible configurable and um, that's a good choice for photographers as well I think GNOME is an excellent desktop environment I like GNOME quite uh, a lot and uh, it's very beautiful it's functional and uh, it's shoulder to shoulder with uh, several other excellent desktop environments such as uh, the Apple desktop environment OS X and so on so but for now I am very happy with KDE Plasma and um, it's, uh, it's um, an excellent desktop environment and highly highly configurable some people even say that's insanely configurable you can basically configure everything that you want to configure in KDE Plasma <laughs>